All right, hey guys, what's up? Bobby here, BS Reptiles. Um, I'm just gonna do a little update on the uh, three boas, the new, the three new boas I got. They've been with me for about two weeks, not a week, but a week now. All right, so let's get to it. So this is the uh, Guyana, the female Guyana cage. She just spilled her water, so I'm gonna take it all out. I actually just found that she has mites pretty bad, so I was a mite free. Ooh. I was a mite free snake owner for about two months. Now I guess we got mites again. Not a big deal, I'll just treat them. I took her hide out. That was her hide. But it's full of mites and eggs in, so I have to spray it and clean it. She is a bit nippy, like the guy had said, but that's all right. <laughs> So I'm going back to the uncut videos because it takes, no joke, over five hours to upload my videos to YouTube. And I'm sorry, but that's insane. That's way too long. And... I'm not waiting that long anymore, so when I do them through my phone, and when they're not cut, it only takes about 20 minutes tops, so that's what I'll do, get everything spread out here, that should be good, she's just in this Tub. Aren't you? Aren't you in here? That's her still looking beautiful. Look at the pink. Uh, sorry guys if you guys hear some thunder. We're having a thunderstorm. Actually, the third one today. Actually, the guy's house beside us has one of those uh, TV antenna things, like the huge ones. It actually just got struck by lightning. I was out having a cigar talking to my neighbor. And we heard the sizzle and I caught it in the corner of my eye. It was pretty crazy. But we'll go over here to the Central American. I think it's an Annery Central American. Oh, forgot to turn his lamp on this morning. Sorry, dude. So, yeah, I just actually, he's, I power fed him. He got three medium rats. Two of the day of feeding, and I just fed him one last night. But, see, now he's got a, still a bit of weight to him, but, bef like, he's still way too small. Bring him out to the light. Just a beautiful snake. Just so nice looking. But like right there, look at that. Look how skinny he is. That's not right. Put him back in here. I really like him though. He's about three and a half feet long. And he was probably, you know, the uh, size of like a... Um, a D battery. I don't know if you know the width of a D battery, but he was probably the width of that, and that's not big at all. We'll go over here that I had the big male in. I have him in with the female now, and a pretty, I'm pretty sure positive I've seen them link up, their tails link up, so it's kind of cool. I need to, as you can see, clean everyone in. I can get the stupid walk off. 
Uh, the female right there on top, she uh, shed this morning. As you can see, there's some of her shed everywhere. Her first shed that wasn't all intact. Kind of weird, but it's alright. This is the male right here. She's chilling on him. I guess I'll leave them in there. But that's the male and that's the female. I've come in and their tails have been literally like right beside each other, like over top, pretty much like linked up. So I'm pumped. Let's see. Hopefully I can get that'd be that'd be decent. That'd be friggin' rad. If I could uh if I could get her pregnant. I'm getting a hatchling rack. Well, hatchling slash leopard gecko rack made out here soon. So, I guess while I'm doing this, might as well show other people. So, the king snake. Right there. Leopard geckos. Down there. Leopard gecko there. King snake there. My savannah monitor. She's uh, tamed down a little bit. I've been handling her. A lot more. I just actually had her handled before I made this video. She'll make a liar out of me though. There she is. Still beautiful. She hasn't really gained, like, made any. She hasn't gotten any bigger. Which is kind of weird, but it's alright. I'll come in and I'll chill with her for a bit. She's got a full belly because I just fed her some crickets. So, um, I guess we'll go over here to the Asian water monitor. And it's just in there. I'm climbing up the wall. I don't know if you can really see in there because of the reflection. Um, but he's there. Um, those guys I'm not going to really get into, but they're there. Um, yeah. So guys, that's the video. Um, so yeah, comment, subscribe, guys. I think I'm at like 24 subscribers, which is pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment, subscribe. Here, I'll give you a little look at what we're dealing with outside. I don't know if you can see the rain coming down. But you see... Over there, behind the trees, there's that big gutter. The other day, that got filled right up, and I had a river in my yard. You can see mine's the one that isn't cut. Um, came right down from there all the way into that easement right there. But I don't know if you can see the end of my car there. And then you can see that uh, puddle. Just filled right up. I'll take you out to another window on our road. You can really see it. Um, yeah, this is the better one. Nice big window. That's my car right there. But the uh, that whole um, that whole driveway will be a puddle. It's not nice at all. That's up there is the thing that I said got struck by lightning. But yeah, this has been three days straight. I don't know if you can see, but all the rain just pours down into my driveway. It sucks. But we need the rain. We went, I think it was three, three or four weeks without rain here. So farmers are going to really be liking that. But that's what I'm dealing with. That's the weather out here. We got tornado warnings all over here, but the sky doesn't look too much like tornadoes, so yeah. But alright guys, so it's my video. Just thought I'd show you outside a little bit. Sorry if you weren't interested. Um, thanks for watching guys. Yeah, again, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.